This is a quick video on setting up high availability, active standby for Cisco NGFWV. In our environment, we have two virtual FTD instances registered with FMC and are using VMware Virtual Distributed Switch to connect their HA GIG00 interfaces together so they can actually form an HA pair active standby. If we take a look at our FMC, we have two FTD instances registered. We will create a high availability pair and fill out our failover link to be GIG00. Then logical interface and primary and secondary unit IP addresses as well as the mask for both. At that point we can let FMC form the pair uh, together. This will take some time. We have accelerated here and just showed progress of how these two units are put together and once they're actually finished, they will be acting as a single unit that can be used to deploy policies and interfaces into. The two units, FTD1 and 2, actually mirror their own interfaces to allow us to switch over between the two units in case of failure. As you can see, once the deployment is done, um, we can go in and modify our failover trigger criteria by tightening the pull and hold times for both uh, our units as well as the interfaces here. As you hover over these fields, it will show you what range of values uh, is allowed. Once you actually enter that in, under interfaces you can see that GIG00 is a failover interface and at this point we can deploy these uh, changes in pull and hold times for failover onto this uh, FTD HA pair. Once that is done, we are pretty much ready to orchestrate our policy um, and other items onto this FTD HA pair. Thank you for watching.